I am a champion. Every morning on the way to school, whether I believed it or not, whether I wanted to say it or not, or whether I knew it yet or not. That's the kind of person my mom is. Even though most of my young life I never felt good enough, my mom always made me feel like a champion. For those of you who don't know, I'm Carlos Santana. I am Mary Isabel Cortez's middle son. And as we celebrate this amazing woman today on her birthday, I cannot confirm or deny how old she is because she refuses to believe in age. I would like to tell you why this woman is worth celebrating and describe to you a few of the traits that she brings to the world that makes her the remarkable person that she is. Those few traits being that she is an example of God's love. She is encouraging and she is inspiring. First, I remember when I was in my early 20s, I got pulled over across the street from the apartments my mother, sister, and I were living in at the time. And it just so happened to be the perfect time because the officer was asking me, do you know what pulled you over? And about another two backup vehicles showed up. And to me, this was protocol because we lived in a bad neighborhood. And just at that time, I heard a familiar voice and just say, why you pull him over? <laughs> then the voice gets a little closer and I hear the voice say, that's my son. <laughs> and of course, this had to be my mom the God-fearing, loving woman who did not care that the police were just doing their job, but that her son needed her. And that's the kind of woman my mom is. The love for her children outweighs the fear of any situation that she may encounter. So thank you, Mom, for showing me what God's love is supposed to look like, fearless. Next, I can recall another one of her many marvelous traits shining through when one night, my brother Abe, my mom, and I were out late eating at Denny's like at 2 a.m. And this was around the time Abe and I finished releasing a music video. And instead of just eating and leaving like most people do, my mom had to make the server and anyone who was willing to listen promise her, you have to look in at my son's video, okay? Promise to me. Every single time. She was literally making everyone promise to her that they would watch our music video. And at one point, she basically made the young lady watch it right there in front of us. Regardless of your craziness, thank you, Ma, for always encouraging me and being my biggest fan. Furthermore, I know I wasn't always the best son. I didn't always listen to the wisdom you had to impart and attempted to instill in me. I failed the seventh grade. I didn't graduate high school. I got my GED when I was 21. I was a drunk, a loser, someone that no mother should ever be proud of. But you never let me believe those things for too long. You always made me believe that I was a champion. And you did all that while being a single mother raising three knuckleheads on her own. You always give 200% to everything you do. And you taught me to never give up and always believe in myself. And that's why you inspired me. And that's why I'm never allowed to have any excuses. And I have to give my all every day that I'm blessed to be alive. Finally, my mom has always been and still is the person God put on this earth to be my foundation in Christ and show me what real love looks like. She was and still is one of my biggest fans. And she was and still is an inspiration. Gracias, ma. Te amo mucho. Feliz cumpleaños, and let's party.